One technology I'm familiar with, and I actually wrote an article about this, I don't know, 15 years ago, if not longer, yeah. is, is RFID. So yeah. radio frequency identification. Yeah. You put a little you know, piece of metal or something in there, you sew it into the clothing or whatever the item is, mm -hmm. it gets tracked, it's for inventory purposes, it's for anti-theft prevention. Talk to me a little bit, because I understand that that's now something that at least more mass retailers like Azara yeah. are now leaning more into and using. RFID has has gone through many, many different iterations. Where it is right now, and I and Zara is piloting this, yeah. um, they're using micro thin uh, wires, they're, they look like threads, that are equipped with, with RFID technology, and they're just being sewn into the garment. So there's literally no way, whereas, you know, there was, the old tag based system where you could just, I, I mentioned when we beginning, when we started to speak that you could just buy something to remove it from Amazon. Sure. Uh, the the chips the um, that were always in the care and content label, those can just be cut out. I mean, there's creative ways that um, thieves have to circumvent all of these uh, various technologies, but in the way that Zara is using it by actually in embedding it into the clothing, it, it really can never be removed. And what's interesting about it too is the investment that Zara is making into doing this because, you know, their average retail price is, you know, $60, $70. We're not talking about a, a high-end right. handbag or something, but it goes back to your, 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 a question you asked me a while ago, which is, you know, what are firms doing and how are they investing in yeah. these types of things? And while honestly, I'm not seeing that the luxury firms are the leaders here, it's, it's mass market, uh, retailers 